Hey there, drone fans. Today I'm here at the Hover launch event with Ken Huang from Zero Zero Robotics. And what I have in front of me is the next generation of the X1, which is one of my favorite camera drones. I've talked about this before. I think they've built some phenomenal technology here. It fits in your pocket. You can open up the two wings, put it up in the air, and you can capture some incredible good video no matter where you're going with it. Well, they didn't stop there. <laughs> they've introduced two brand new products called the X1 Pro and the X1 Pro Max, which take this to the next level. It's absolutely incredible the developments they've built into this product. Now, Ken, I know you're pretty proud of this, right? Yeah. How long did you work on the X1 Pro and Max? How long did it take for the development of that? I think we developed this after we launched X1. We heard all the feedback from our users. We know what they like, what we, what they wish us to improve. Okay. So it, it's about a year time. Unbelievable. Yeah. Well, that's amazing that you can get this out in the field in a year's time from the original X1. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now there's two models here. There's the X1 right there. That's the X1 Pro. Mm -hmm. Then there's an X1 Pro Max. Am I right? Yes. There's the Pro Max. And you've got the complete lines here. You're not shutting down the original X1. That's no. still going to be available. No. Okay. No. Yeah. Then you've got the Pro and you've got the Pro Max. Why three models? I know there's differences between them. Cameras are better, a little bit longer flight time. Yep. But how do you position these for consumers? Like if they're going to look at this line, mm -hmm. this would be for the every, average? Every one, every day. Okay. Yes. And then this one would be for? For the action sports lovers. Okay. Yeah. So somebody that's out skiing or skiing snowboarding, or snowboard. surfing. Well, not surfing because it's going to get wet, <laughs> but, but as long as it's land-based. Yeah. And then the top of the line, the Pro Max. It's the creative tool for the producers and professionals. Okay. For the cin cinematic views and cinematic video. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to ask you some hard questions. Yes. Um, basic camera on this one, it's wonderful if you're going on vacation, you got a family event. What I like so much about this compared to a regular drone mm -hmm. is the fact that the regular drones, as great as they are, I've got to spin them up, I've got to connect the controller, I've got to connect my phone. Yeah. So by the time I'm ready to take the picture, everybody's done. They're done, <laughs> right? That's so with right. this one, I open it up, I hit the power button, it's ready to fly in a couple of seconds, I put it up, I get the shot I need. That's right. So that's wonderful. Yes. These two have to have better specifications, I'm assuming. All right. Yes. So let's go through them. So the mm -hmm. Pro has got a better camera. Yes. And what I understand from you is that the camera is 4K at 60. That's right. Unbelievable. Yes. I mean, that's pretty amazing. And yes. you've also improved the stability of the camera. Yes. You've got a two-axis gimbal on the front? That's right. Okay. So now I've got a really stable picture in the air, and I'm catching 4K. Yes. Um, what about flight time? Is it improved on flight time? Yeah. It's uh, 60 minutes now compared 16. to the 11 minutes. Okay. So before. you've got yeah. a 30% 30, 30 better on the time. That's great. That's right. So wonderful product. How about crash avoidance on this guy? Anything that'll prevent it from running into something? Yeah, so you see this. Okay. Um, yeah, this is um, this is oh, the, the cages. Yeah, yeah, the cages actually protects it okay. well. And also we have the differences of these three cameras. Right. If you look at the back, there's oh, there nothing in the back. <laughs> and this uh -huh. Pro, it has one sensor, which is a proximity sensor. Okay. That can stop okay. if they see any obstacles. And this Pro Max, that has both the ah, proximity sensor and the computer vision. All right, let me so see that. I yeah, got additional I got hold camera, that one. Yes. Let me see this one too. All right, so I don't know if you can see this or not. I'm coming in kind of close, but this is the Pro, and that's got infrared on the back. So it's going to give you pretty good crash protection, so it's not going to back into something. But on the Pro Max, you've got an optical sensor as well as the infrared. So that's going to give you much better protection when you're backing out of a situation. That's right. All right, so let's talk about the Pro Max. Mm -hmm. That's your top of the line. What's the resolution on that? What kind of cameras in that one? Yeah, it's 8K 30 FPS and also <laughs> 4K 120 right. slow mode, and it supports 10 bits um, video as well. Oh, unbelievable. Yes. All right, give me, the, I gotta have that. I may walk out with this one. But anyway, um, so 8K video at yeah. 30. Yes. And you got 4K at up to 120. That's right. How do you pack that much technology <laughs> into a tiny little body as big as, it's like a candy bar size, it's like a Milky Way bar. That's yes. incredible. Yes. All right, so as, as impressed as I am with these new products, and I know I'm gushing over these things, but <laughs> when you understand the engineering that goes into a tiny little package to do everything they're doing, it's unbelievable. Yeah. All right, so in addition to that, I see a whole lot of mysterious accessories here. That's Tell me right. about those. Okay, cool. So the first one is this beacon. Okay. This one actually is a little controller that you can see what's in the camera here. Okay. As you see that. Um, so a live feed from the camera. So I can, right. just like we're flying regular drones, I got a live feed. Okay. That's right. And you can control here. Uh -huh. And also you can put Wait, it. Before on you do that, this. let me just get a close up of this. Yeah. You know what that looks like? That looks like a little TV set there. Look at that. Isn't that cute? <laughs> but okay, so I got a display there and That's I've got right. controls. Yes. Right. And if you click here, this is a magnetic click. Oh, nice. And then this is a 
bike mount. Yeah, I've seen you can, that. Yeah. yeah, you can put it on your bike. Okay. And while you're biking, yep. you like this. Okay. So you don't have to turn around your head to find the camera. Right. You can see exactly from here. And, and you can control the recording and, and you get a joystick yep. for some basic flight control. That's right. Okay. And you can record your sound. You can see what's in it. The transmission. It records sound as well, right here. That's right. Unbelievable. And it has like one kilometer transmission distance. Okay. So you can see even if it's behind. Well, you don't want it too far away from you, right? Because you're no. going to want to stay close. It's no. action yeah, sports. That's right. right. That's right. Excellent. So all right. this then there's a bunch of here, other stuff here. What's And also you can put it here. You can clip it into, you know, the jacket. Oh, yeah, clothes, yeah. And then, so you can put it yeah. on your shirt or your That's pants, right? right. That's Excellent. right. And it has another form, which is this. This one, it becomes one hand joystick controller. You can control from here. This has the motion control. It has the haptic feedback. It, it has, let me stop on there. It has gyroscopic control yes. in the hand. So when yes. you move your hand, it moves yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, left, right, up and down. Okay. And also you can control from here. Excellent. And if you can plug things together, <laughs> it becomes a full-fledged controller. All right, hold on one second, I gotta get this close to the camera. So it's a dual joystick controller. It's like you're playing a video game. Yeah. All right, but that's not and it. It still expands even more. Yeah, okay. and then if you turn it around, <laughs> right. and then you can put your phone oh, on man. it. Oh, and then you can, you can see all of the, all of the images uh -huh. from the phone. Incredible. That's how it works. All right, I got yeah. it. <laughs> So again, you've got these two on the end, you've got the beacon in the center, and you've got a, a controller holder on the that's bottom. Right. So it's actually yeah. like I've got a drone controller that's right. when I'm flying it out there in the field. That's right, that's right. All right. So this is the joystick that we have and okay. together with the beacon. So and these are all accessories in addition to the original. So you don't need these. You can fly it without no, it just no, fine. No. Yes. Use your phone as the app, but you can use these if you want a little more control. That's right. So with the Pro Max, if I'm a wedding photographer. Yes. And I want to put that up and capture some 8K video of the nuptials. Yes. I can use this and yes. I can zero in and really frame my shot. Yes. Unbelievable. Yes. So you've, yes. Yes. I know, again, I'm gushing here, but you've <laughs> expanded beyond a simple flying camera, which was brilliant. It yes. really was amazing. I use that thing all the time yeah. to a more full feature. And I hate to call it a drone <laughs> because it is flying, but it's flying not really action a, camera. Exactly. Yes. Right. Uh, so flying action camera. I like yeah. that or, mm -hmm. or flying selfie camera, something yes. like yes. that. Beautiful, beautiful setup. So and uh, another one. Oh yeah, yes. I want to ask you about that. So this is called power case, and okay. then this power case can support um, the charging of okay. the car. So if you if you go skiing or if you go out, right? right yeah, you can put it here, and then if you want it, you can while that you turn this on. Okay. While it's on, then you can, you know, there is a little bit sticker here, oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. you can see. Oh look at that! There's like a connector on the side right yes. there that you can, yeah. it'll touch inside yes. there. So inside of here, this is one right. that you can charge. Okay. So if you, you slide uh -oh. here, you slide here. Close click, it up, close makes it the connection. Up. Yes, okay. and then it will start charging. So you see this power here, yeah, you yeah. start charging it. Okay. And this one itself contains 40 minutes of battery time okay. for the flight. Gotcha. And then all together, it's 56 minutes. Unbelievable. And while you're char flying, there is another one. Oh, so, so it's a battery bank. Yeah. So it charges your phone as well. Oh, that's beautiful. So imagine you are going to snowboarding yep. and you you have this camera following you all the way down. And then after you're done, you put it back on your way up right. on the chairlift. It will start charging. Once you reach the mountain top, it's full. And then it comes down again. All right, let me, yes. let me see that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so again, um, I'm a super nerd. You know that, right? So what I've got here is I've got a battery bank yeah. that's custom made for the hover. Slide it in there, magnetic charging on the side. I've got a USB-C connection right there that I'm gonna to use to charge it. And while I'm using this, I'm like over explaining it, but <laughs> it just blows me away. You've got a USB-C connection here you can charge mm -hmm. external devices from. Yes. And I gotta say this, Ken, yeah. you know, again, I follow a lot of different technologies. Yes. And honestly, the evolution of technology over time is a slow thing, right? Yes. Little mm -hmm. thing changed here, little thing changed there. That's what you've right. got is an entire ecosystem yeah. of technology that mm -hmm. turns this into a full-fledged drone for me to control and fly, capturing AK footage. That's right. How long does this one stay up? Hmm? How long does that stay in the air? The Pro um, Max. The 16 minutes. 16 minutes, That's okay. Right. So it's yeah. the same as the Pro, same That's battery? Right. Yes. Okay, yes, excellent. Yes, yes. And then you mentioned something to me before about the battery. Yes. That you've designed these batteries to fly in really cold weather. That's right. right. Both of them actually supports the flight under uh, minus 20 degree. Okay. Um, it's in extreme cold, it can still work. Not okay. many battery can do that. Yeah. We designed this for those snow sports Perfect. lovers. Yeah, for so skiing, that snowboarding use. or whatever. Right. Yeah, That's or you're just right. out hiking in the snow. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Excellent. I don't do a lot of that, but I imagine people out there 
there probably do a lot of that. So and that's winter fantastic. is coming. Like people can use it. Winter's for, coming. Yeah, for that was a tagline yeah. from a movie. That's and right. then the last thing. Oh boy. The last thing you talked about was the SD filters, right? That's right. This so, SD filter, filters, ND can filter right? can support uh, on both cameras. Okay. And then in the snowboarding time that it's too bright, then you yeah. can change either one of these four. And they're magnetic, I'm sure yeah. they just pop yeah. in the front. Yeah, and they yeah. pop into the yeah, front. Yeah, you need that. If you're going to do professional photography, you got to have ND filters. That's right. That's All right, right. excellent. I yeah. think I've covered everything. So yeah. I'm really impressed with this whole setup. Yeah. I can't tell you uh, how excited I am to try this. <laughs> now, if you turn your head, I'm going to grab mm -hmm. the Pro Max and walk out the front door. <laughs> <laughs> the front door the front. So we're we're gonna get a test unit. Yeah, you he, will. He said that on camera, so yes. that's good. <laughs> yes, you will. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, so let me, okay. when's the launch of this? When are you gonna officially launch the product? Okay, so we'll be on Indiegogo starting from August 26th, okay. uh, 9 a.m. in Pacific time. Okay. And in the first 48 hours, we're offering a really great deal okay. for um, both cameras, $100 off. And also for the combo of the product, we offer up to 40% off. Okay. Only for the Indiegogo So that was the factors. question I was gonna ask you, because a lot of times in Indiegogo, when you launch a new product, you're taking those early adopters and giving them a break. Yeah. So you're gonna give them a break, That's which right. is wonderful. So right. what you're saying, I guess, is, when this thing launches, get in in the first 48 hours That's so you right. can actually cash in on that. That's right. And, and then, we have a shipping guarantee. We are the first and only brands that works with uh, Indiegogo on this shipping guarantee. Okay. So we guarantee to start shipping by September 30th and also finish shipping by October 30th. All right. That's an important yes. question because right. I know I've owned some Zero Zero products in the past, the V-Copter and others. And I know it's hard when you're building a new product to get it out on time. Yeah. But with this one, you've got shipping guarantees. And if we order it on the launch date, you're shipping by middle of September, end of September. Yeah, so okay. we will be like finish all of the shipping by October. October. By yeah, so yes. I could wait that long. That's yes. not bad. Yes. But get me one early. Don't make me wait. <laughs> all right. I will get you early. I've yeah. got you enough time. <laughs> so uh, thank you very much for watching. I think it's a cool product, and I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. So good talking to you all. Thanks so thank much. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you very much. It. You bet. Yeah.